of our hackathoners are getting in the sub. So there was a sub talk today with our sub pilots, and so they got to ask questions and to learn a little bit more about the subs. And I guess they're taking turns going inside the sub, which is so exciting. So we've got two of our hackathoners inside the sub, learning what it's like to be inside the sub and feeling it out. Oh, you just went into the sub. Tell me what it was like. What did you learn? Oh, wow, it feels amazing. Like, I didn't know like, how it feels before, like, especially how clear it looks when you're inside. And I've learned the pilot is very, very busy. <laughs> the sub itself, the arm, maintaining all the electronics, communicating with the surface, and keeping the scientists happy. <laughs> <laughs> okay, do you reckon you could do that job? I don't know, there's too much thing going there's on. There's too much things going on, so I feel like we, we gain a lot of respect for our sub-pilots when we learn a little bit more about it. Just a whole lot of respect for them. That They have so many things to keep attention on. They can do it so consistently throughout so many dives. Like an estimation on how many, how many dives you've done? 18 years. Uh, I don't, I, I'm going to say at least in the region of 1,200 dives. How was it? What have you learned so far with the sub talks? Uh, the sub was extremely peaceful. It was remarkable. Yeah. I think I could stay down there for eight hours. Again, that's a very peaceful environment. Just the amount of engineering going into the manipulators, the arms, is fascinating. Do you have a favorite? Pardon? For sure. Nadir. Um, Nadir? Okay. Yeah, I've had many a dive in Nadir. Yeah. Um, and I've been to some cool places, including Clarkus, Antarctica, and Nadir. So.